Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're covering how to play Windows games on your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, any MacBooks you have, um, and specifically ones that are on Apple Silicone. So what we'll be taking a look at is how to install. This one's gonna be covering crossovers, specifically how to install. I made a previous videos on a free app called Whiskey, and I'm also gonna be taking a look at the difference between the two. So let's start it off with how to get crossovers. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. This is being recorded on OBS. Um, if you're looking to find how-tos of how to actually make content like this own channel, be sure to uh, sub to this and check out my personal channel where I go over the behind the scenes along with travel tech and all good things to make your life a great life. <laughs> Little plug, shameless plug for myself. Uh, but yeah, once you search Crossovers Mac on uh, Google Chrome or on, sorry, Google Search, you can navigate to the website where it says Code Weavers Crossovers. From there, it tells you what it's all about. You can buy it for $74 or do a free trial, which is how you will get the download working. So all you have to do is enter your name and email. You can download the trial. It won't let you download it while not putting it in. And when you put those details in, you'll get the crossover zip file, which I've already done and I've already placed into the applications folder. So we'll go ahead and open it up. And then it says how many days are remaining for your trial. You have 14 days to do this. We'll open it up and I have one thing installed, which is Steam and Cyberpunk, but going from the beginning, um, once it opens up, you won't see any bottles located on the screen. You simply hit install and there will be an option to install Steam. This is my preferred method of having Windows games installed is to just run the application that will download the applications. Once you hit install, it will make a bottle. It tells you what it's gonna do. It will download from Crossover Code Weavers, uh, the Steam MSI install file. It will create a Steam bottle. We'll do the English version and we'll also install other dependencies to help run your games, run it smoothly. Once Steam installs, you have these options here for having DX12 games run with D3D Metal, which is a game port toolkit. You also have another option is to run the Vulkan layer. And then you have eSync and MSync. So this is my preferred wide configuration or bottle configuration with MSync and D3D Metal. After that, you simply just will install Steam. While your first time launching, you'll have to install some, uh, it'll download and install things that are necessary. And it should pop up your, um, your Steam login. And I'm already logged in. So once this pops up, it's simply going to show the Steam library. And we'll take a minute to look at what that looks like. So now it's running the Windows version of Steam. You can tell because it has the Windows, uh, Windows, I don't even know what to call these, but like X, Maximize, and Minimize. And then you have the Steam version of the Web Helper, which should be this file here and this window here. Simply close that. And now you have full access to your Steam library. So from here, you can install files. Not every file or not every game runs 100%. For the most part, if it has anti-cheat, it won't run. And the only game I have installed on this crossovers version is Cyberpunk 2077. And I am now going to switch to the second part of this video, which is looking at screen recordings of the benchmark tool of Cyberpunk. All right, folks, so this is just going to be a voiceover slash uh, video overlay, but I have the files loaded on Final Cut, and that's what the initial screen recording will be. But then, of course, I'll make it the original content. So what we did was we don't have any OBS or QuickTime recordings of the content, but it's simply the Sony A6000 run in both versions. Um, so the first version we have here is the gameplay running. Uh, I'm going to be scrubbing through some of the content and I'll talk about it in post. Essentially what happened is that there's a bug with both AMD FSR and ambient occlusion. Now once you run it, it will appear to run, but then it won't like fully run or you'll have this. This is what it'll look like in the game. Basically you'll have these like black shaders masking everything. Um, but you can see that the FPS is around 58 FPS with everything on ultra. If we then adjust the settings to turn off ambient occlusion and stuff of that nature, um, I'm really, really, side note, I'm really liking the A6000 video outputs. Like the colors are clean, way better than the iPhone. Um, 
So if we take a look at how now the screen renders fine. I'm gonna put the volume down a little bit on my Mac, um, but the screen renders fine, looks pretty nice. Um, so yeah, maybe, you know, this is a impromptu bougie way of uh, doing a voiceover is to literally just record quick time. So that's kind of funny. Does this uh, go away? Not sure. So it's going through the timeline. I removed ambient occlusion. Going through the timeline, I removed FSR. Everything's set on the ultra setting. And or right now it says custom, but everything was on ultra, I believe. Or it looks here that's on high. Um, and then I turned off ambient occlusion. And that's how you can the screen running properly without the black. Of course, this is the M3 Max with uh, 30 core GPU. So this is the base model that you can usually pick up. One terabyte SSD at Apple stores. So this was done on crossovers. And then the next time I ran the Whiskey app and I turned on the Metal HUD and tried to get the same configurations for the benchmark. When I ran it, I turned up maybe the fusion, but I didn't turn up the FSR. And we got 42 frames per second. So the difference between crossovers and whiskey is sometimes their implementation is better. They can also crossovers have faster support to get the latest game port toolkit along with other dependencies like crossover installs. So if you're considering buying crossovers, I'm not, I don't believe in affiliate sales, but if I am in post, I'll leave a link. Um, but crossover sometimes runs better, but uh, whiskey app is 100% free and it just uses the game port toolkit. <laughs> After changing the settings, of course, let's see. Low it up, and getting a steady 40, 50, and sometimes. Uh, and then when we zoom in, it says 47 with the shaky cam. 47 frames per second. Unfortunately, my hunt is blocking. Let's go back to see what the settings were. Hopefully, it's not uh, quality this I gets turned off it's still on high so yeah both of these were running on high um, so I'm going to leave the raw footage at the end of this timeline Oop. I'm going to leave the raw footage at the end of this timeline um, and then you can see the benchmark for yourself of course the one that ran uh, without the black black shaders in front is the ambient occlusion turned off and FSR turned off but if you have enjoyed this quick little video and tutorial, I appreciate any likes, comments, and subscriptions help grow the channel. I'm trying to go more uh, full-time into the YouTube channel, or at least put a better effort in 2024. Um, and if you need some help with your personal life and self-development and being a lifetime learning, I'm going to put a personal plug to my own channel as well. Um, Blend Logic Tech started out as just tech laptop reviews. I'm now putting my own essence and kind of swag into it but for more alan swag or more of like my uh let's just say personal type of content i aim to make that channel my personal channel to help lifelong learners uh basically have a great life and that involves i like a phrase saying wealthy healthy happy and wise um, so anything from how I make my own income streams, like for example, I have 2 million views total in BlendLogic Tech, but it's only gotten me $700. So that's a surprising fact most people don't know about. Um, but in the personal channel, I think it expands to more of my creative side. Um, I'd still need some work cause I'm, you know, I've been so used to making laptop reviews. Uh, but yeah, latest videos I posted was some travel and tech where I went to national park, uh, big Bend, which was an eight hour drive. Definitely recommend that. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this content. I'd love to see you over in that other channel as well. I'm hoping to get that monetized by the end of the year. I currently only have 50 subs. Um, but if you go over there and subscribe, I can start getting monetized and it can help that channel out. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know any questions you have. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.
generated content. I uploaded. Gabe, yeah, if you want to see what I was telling you to learn, so I uploaded my log form YouTube and made this. This biotech is what we did there. It was very light, but you could do anything from oh, hiking, yes, camping, okay. to okay. 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 stargazing. Okay. We did do that. Like that was probably one of the coolest parts, or a cool part, was that it's like a national protected land with no light. So one of the times mm -hmm. the rangers did a stargazing. Yeah, so this is tech school with your video? Yeah. So my YouTube video and made this content test like when you catch the video I never believe that uh, there was definitely a lot of driving but we got to the Sotal Overlook well why did you send me the Reddit all? I didn't send you a Reddit all Opus Pro and there's another one that I'm just using, the Minimo. 